Hey, I'm Danny from Lockbox and this is Two Minute Money. Welcome. If you're new here and you want to learn about how you can master your money, be sure to subscribe. If you're here because you've made the decision to move back home to the UK after living abroad for a period of time, then stay tuned. In this video, I'm going to give you some top tips on using a checklist to help you make the move. Number one, why make a checklist? So you've made the big decision to move back to the UK, now what? The next task is to work out everything that needs to be done to put that plan into action and ensure your move goes as smoothly as possible. Although this might sound overwhelming and a big job, we promise you it'll be fine. Just take it a step at a time and you'll be home before you know it. A checklist is the perfect tool to help you do this. Number two, give yourself some deadlines. When you've built that list, a top tip is to give yourself a deadline for each task and then enjoy the satisfaction of ticking them off one by one when each step is completed and you move ever closer to your goal. This is an extremely effective approach to help you make sure you don't forget anything and also to help you stay motivated as you're working through the list. Number three, be kind to yourself whilst working through your checklist. It's important to remember that returning home doesn't happen overnight. So it's important to be kind to yourself in the meantime while you're working towards starting a new chapter back in the UK. Amongst working through the more stressful tasks on your checklist, be sure to prioritise contacting friends and family back in the UK to make some exciting plans that you can look forward to. Number four, see the checklist on our blog for inspiration. Don't know where to start with building your checklist? Fear not, we've got it covered. We've got an extensive checklist for people looking to move back to the UK. We hope this will be a useful starting place for you in preparing to move back to the UK. And as you read through it, think about which points are applicable to you and make a note of them. You can then use this to create a full checklist tailored to your needs and covering all that you have to do. You can read through the checklist on our blog now. The link is in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.